Welcome to Life Lessons and Landscape Lectures by the Turf Teacher and sponsored by LMN Software. Tonight, we've got Estimating a Landscape Plan. how we do a print takeoff. I always start with the yellow notepad, uh, always and foremost. And uh, the first thing I want to do when looking at a plan like this, I've already talked to the project manager several times. Um, and I wanna go ahead and look at the planting uh, legend. They may call it the plant list, but it's where they're gonna list all the plant materials. And I always begin with the yellow notepad by writing down our plant materials. And so here, we've only got three plants on this project. Uh, we are going to start off with abelia. And I go ahead and write it down because I go directly from the plan directly uh, to LMN software and uh, bid the job. So we're starting off with abelia, X, Grandiflora, uh, very common shrub. We'll be able to find that very quickly. Uh, they are the glossy abelia, is their common name. And it looks like we're going to have 83 of them, and they're going to be at 18 inch height planted. Next is our Acer. Rubrum or red maple. Very common tree that we'll be able to find. And they're going to be at a two inch caliper, uh, eight foot height uh, at the time of planting. And we only need six of those. And then we're going to need 24. of the malice prairie fire a very pretty plant guys but i'm a little confused why they may be planting these um, around but this is the prairie fire flowering at crab apple So I'm writing all of these down. That again is going to be a two inch caliper. No, that's going to be at an inch and a half. My fault. Inch caliper and six foot height. So we've got all of our plants down. And then they are actually <clears throat> talking about um, a fescue seed. And I want to check the notes. And the landscaping notes here. Basically, um, this is seed. They're not actually requiring uh, sod on this job, but they are requiring irrigation. So we've got our seed. I'll write it down. And I got 3,729 feet square. The turf grass is denoted by this symbol right here. And it goes along the front, along Lithania Inn Road, down to the corner, and there's a little bit of seeding right here. The rest of the job is all hardwood mulch. So we're gonna actually do a takeoff uh, of the mulch, and then I'm gonna double check their square footage uh, on seed. And then we'll calculate the mulch. So we do have mulch in there. Uh, we do have four abelias inside a little mulched area here coming around through the drive through really no plants along there except uh, the crab apples and abelias along here same down here and we've got our red maples in the parking lot and so guys what I like doing uh, I am going to go ahead and highlight um, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight our red maples 
and it says that we are to have six. So I'm highlighting, making sure we've got six. There's two, three, four, five, and six. So we do have six red maples. You want to double check this because your planting legend may be off by a few. I've seen it multiple times where uh, the designer uh, miscalculated, so you want to check with what's on the plan because what's on the plan rules over what's in the planting legend. So we've got our six rubrums, checking it off, and then we've got the 24 of the crab apples, which are delineated by this plant symbol here. So we are going to uh, uh, check them off. I'm going to do it with a blue. It doesn't matter what color we're using. We just want to to note it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And so I highlight them, which lets me know that I've accounted for them. So just double check, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that is a correct match. Now, with the little guys, the abelius, I'm gonna do it in yellow, and there are supposed to be 83 of the abelius. So we do have the four here. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 78, 79. And so I am missing four. So there makes 80. There's one. So I'm looking for three more. And we just go around and double check, making sure there's none around the actual building. Ah, right here. One, two, three, four. Now, guess what? It looks like I'm calculating 84 versus the 83. So I'm gonna just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 
68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. 83. So it is correct. 83 Abelia grandiflora. And so checked it off. It's done. Now, that is all of our plant material. That is all of our plant material uh, on this job. So, you know, a nice, easy load to get there uh, with an auger. Not going to take long to get this all done. Now, the representation of mulch is almost like a brick pattern. And so I will kind of highlight that orange, uh, but we are going to go and um, double check uh, the grass seed. Now, the one thing you'd want to do with that is you want to get your scale. Uh, this plan is in one inch uh, equals 20 scale or 20 scale is what we would call. And we just want to graphically match it. And it is true to scale. And that literally means, guys, that a legitimate inch on a tape measure represents 20 feet. So one inch equals 20 feet. And so we've got a width here. Looks like the widest point of turf grass is about 20 feet. And so I'm going to calculate this. It's going to be a rough calculation because, guys, they're already telling me that it's 3,729 square feet um, of fescue seed. I like it when the designer does include uh, the turf grass uh, on the planting symbol and gives you the square footage. Now they didn't on the mulch but that is, that is quite a bit of mulch and so what we'll do is divide it into sections that we can uh, uh, do some easy calculations on. But we notice that we've got 20 here and We're at 150 feet here. And so basically, I'm just going to go ahead and say, you know, 20 feet times 150 feet. And then we've got 60. So again, another 20 feet by uh, 60 feet. And then we're going to do those numbers. And we'll see how close we are to what they are representing. So basically, I'm coming up by doing a rough estimate. I've coming up with 4,200 square feet. Well, we know down here is wider. This is at 20 feet, and as the grass goes this way, it gets narrower. So the 3,729 square feet is correct on turf grass. And we got this little bit area over here that we'd need to calculate. And so that will be. With seeding and being this little of amount of seeding, you want to be more. So I'm going to turn this upside down so I can read it. So we are at 28 feet. Twenty-eight feet by eighteen feet. Another five hundred square feet. So easy enough, you know, small, easy uh, grass job. And so we've, we've accounted for that. So the easiest thing to do is to come in here with your highlighter and always use green for turf grass. Having a degree in landscape architecture, guys, I really like doing this a little bit neater. And if I want it to be 
correct, I would get out my chart pack markers or colored pencils. You know, what other profession do we get paid to color, right? But guys, again, I do this just to let myself know and the crews in the field, they'll actually take this copy. If we get the job, they'll know pretty much where everything is. Try to simplify it as much as you can. I was thinking this job actually had sod on it, but they don't, which is fine. They're putting the irrigation on it, so the grass will come up quick, but usually when they spend money on the irrigation, they want sod. All right, and so that's the only turf grass uh, that we're gonna have uh, on site. And as you can see through here, it's a concrete sidewalk all the way around. And everything else is mulch. So, this is a pizza inn in Hickory, North Carolina. Not Hickory, my bust. Uh, near Charlotte, I believe. But anyway. We are pricing it for a uh, general contracting firm out of Alpharetta, Georgia. And now the only thing we got to do is look at the mulch and then look at irrigation. Now with the mulch, as you can see, everything is in the, the brick. Everything is lined out in the brick. And so guys, I really do rough calculations with mulch. Uh, because it's not going to be that much, you know, uh, we're going to have, you know, maybe a couple of dump truck loads, whatever, but we'll get the total yardage and it's going to be higher than needed. And so we're going to start with the easy, uh, things here first. We are at, you know, basically 21 feet by 15. And so you can go in there and write 21 by 15. I always draw kind of like an arrow to it. I just kind of color it in. Hey, we've accounted for it. You don't want to miss anything. And that's why I love highlighters. It lets me know and my guys in the field know that we've accounted for the mulch. And so basically Again, I'm doing this rough. I'm looking at it about 18, 18 by 17. We've accounted for that mulch bed. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight by eleven. Now, if you want to start thinking about the irrigation, if you listen to the radio show this morning, um, you heard me talking about what's the one thing that we should be. Um, asking our project managers now with this right here basically guys we've got we've basically got a triangle so i know the formula we define the square footage of a triangle or we can actually just double it and cut it in half And I want to come in and 
actually kind of like that so it pops. Twenty five. Twenty five by forty. Cut it in half. So we're looking at about 500 square feet there. Again, we've accounted for it. Mark it to let us know we have calculated that mulch bed. So you don't have to be perfect when getting all of these mulch areas uh, figured. You want to be a little bit, you want to be 10%, uh, roughly 10% more. And so that's basically what I'm doing. So we have 20, kind of come up about halfway there. 20 by 18, another 20 by 18. And we have accumulated for it. I really do wish they would have give us a rough on the mulch, but that's okay that they didn't. So we've got everything out in the parking lot area. And so basically we've got this mulch bed all the way around the property. So real easy to figure. Here we have a bed, 148 feet, 148 feet by nine. Don't have to color it all the way in perfectly, but it just lets me know, hey, I have done the square footage for that. And once you get your square footage of mulch, you convert it to yardage. And then we install mulch, uh, you know, by the yard. So easy enough. Now, basically with this remaining mulch areas, I'm going to break it down into shapes that I already know that I can find the square footage pretty easy. You know, we've got some rectangles. Make these boxes. Make it real easy for us to figure. And if I want to make it a little bit, you know, easier for us to see, get the old Pentel sign pen. I mean, that's a box. A rectangle another box um, rectangle said, except I'm not feeding a baby um, but yes to COVID yes to I'm gonna just make that a box I'm okay with having a little bit more there um, they're either going in and coming <laughs> out quickly or they're going in and staying um, and Matt, what else did we have on our plate? <laughs> Seems like adult nursing's all the same. Um, Making this into a rectangle. My team about the quiet weeks coming up. They thought that was very generous, and um, they're appreciating that time. And a triangle. And then voila, the we're finished up so, um, with a rectangle. That's really easy. Easy enough. And then, of course, don't forget these areas right here. So area, each area is and still highlighted with their measurements. I'm anticipating a lot of call-outs tonight. You know, I know in North Carolina, the threat of ice, like we shut down. 15. I'm very nervous about that. By 18. It should. 62. <laughs> by 20.
you get the point here. Here we have 155. And this is probably the mm -hmm. the longest. But you know, we spend roughly an hour figuring a plan like this. after we get all of our measurements, which we know what seed, we know what that's gonna cost us. But, you know, we'd wanna get some cost on sod from a local grower that was in the area. Seven. Sixty. Sixty by twenty four, half of that. So seven hundred and twenty square feet. Again, guys, I colored in letting myself know that I have calculated the area. I'm not doing it to be fancy or anything like that. This is strictly letting myself know and my team know that I have calculated these square footages. And I'm always figuring more than needed with the way we figure it. And that's okay. That is okay. And so we've got just a little bit more to go. So we've got 32 by 7. Here we have a triangle, again, half. That's really 14 by 14. So roughly 98 square feet right there. And I'm gonna figure this as just a rectangle. 45. 45 by 7. I'm not going to break each one of those down because that's not that big of a deal. And so I have accounted for all mulch areas. And 
it starts coming to life when doing that. All right, cool. So we've got all of our square footages uh, calculated. So we are going to go by the, uh, the grass square footage that they give us. And then I'm just going to add up the mulch that we've done. And once I do that, I want to check it off knowing that I have wrote it down. And so we're just going to start here. Seed. Got 98 square feet. Check it off. We've got 18 by 17. Check it off. 38 by 11. Check it off. 15 by 18. Check it off. 62 by 20. Check it off. 30 by 28. Check it off. 155. By 13, check it off. 500 square feet, check it off. Uh, we've got our 20 by 18, check it off. We've got our 32 by 27, check it off. Another 32. By 27, check it off. 60 by 18, check it off. And then 720 square feet, check it off. 148 by 9, check it off. 45 by 7, check it off. And then 21 by 15 check it off. Make sure I have not missed any highlighted area. And now I'm going to add those totals up. And you'll see me check this a hundred times. All right, and so just add them all up. Eleven thousand five hundred thirty-seven square feet of turf grass, fescue seed. 
not fescues, mulch, mulch, my bust, mulch. Uh, so I just want to double check it again. I do it quite a few times, especially before we uh, send the quote over. comes out to the same so mulch all right and so guys there is the the one sheet and so there is my coverage now also use this um, roughly you know 4700 square feet to give an irrigation price. We do it by the square footage of turf. And then uh, we'll need an additional zone just for the plant materials. We'll put them 100% on drip and we could put all of these on one drip zone. Now, when it comes to irrigation, and if you listen to the radio show this morning, we were talking about asking the project manager where the backflow and water meter is going to be for irrigation. Now, I have talked to the project manager and they are locating us a meter and backflow in this vicinity. Now, it's not going to be right over that drain, but he said it's going to be in that bed. That lets me know where I'm going to be working for. So, we can come all around here. We're going to need to, to cross over the sidewalk somewhere right in here. Now, I'm marking where I would probably want a sleeve, but worst case scenario here, we can bore underneath a sidewalk really, really easy. What concerns me is getting to over here, getting to here. We may want to come this way and this way. I'm trying to figure out which is the shortest route for us to go and so that's what we've got to do here we won't well we won't even need any because there's no plant material for right in there so i've marked my sleeves and i'm ready to go to the computer and type these numbers in um, guys if you're watching on instagram right now i don't know who is because i'm not paying attention to the phone but we'll have this up on YouTube and we reverse it so you'll actually be able to see it uh, from my perspective so hope this helps and I hope you were able to learn something thanks guys for more landscape business expert advice check out golmn.com forward slash blog and once again a massive shout out to LMN software for sponsoring this podcast and making it all happen LMN is the most comprehensive landscape business management software in the industry. From budgeting, estimating, customer relationship management, time tracking, and so much more, it's the true do-it-all tool for your landscape business and provides a platform to scale your company to the next level. And the best part about LMN is that they have a free version, which you can use today if you choose to. Just visit golmn.com forward slash free to learn more and start taking advantage of the software that's helped me grow my business into a successful, sustainable, and profitable company. That's golmn.com forward slash free. And thanks again, everyone. And I'll see you in the next lecture.